Hello, this is a quick video on how to factory reset a Sky Q Hub or a Sky Router ER110 model router. So this is the one which has the air vents on the top and also has the power supply built in. So the 240 volts goes straight into the side of the or the back of the router. Um, the ER115, which I also have a video on, is the one which has the 12 volts which go into the back of the router. So in my demonstration here, I've forgotten the IP address of the router. So I've configured it, I've forgotten the password, I've forgotten the IP address or some other details that I need to get into uh, configure. On the computer here, I'm pinging the default IP address of the Sky router, which is 192.168.0.1, which isn't responding because, as I say, I've, I've misconfigured this and I need to factory reset it. The reset button is on the back here. If you do a momentary press, the router just reboots and keeps all of its settings. You have to uh, keep that held down for about 11 seconds until the light on the front goes from red and then starts flashing green again. So I will uh, put my finger on that, I'll press it and I'll let you know when I let go. So I'm about to press it now. Power light will go red. You need to keep it held down until it starts flashing green. And there we go, it's now flashing green. I'm going to take my finger off the reset button. And now we play the waiting game. On the ER115, it takes about probably three, maybe four minutes to reboot and uh, be accessible again. So I expect it's going to be about the same amount of time for this router as well. The power light has now gone green. and still waiting. It's a, quite astonishing how long it takes for this router to start up. There we go, the wireless light has now gone uh, solid green. Well, I say that, it's just gone out, but solid green again. Um, and on my computer, I'm gonna do an IP config forward slash renew, just because I want to hurry it along. So even though the wireless light is on, it's, this router is still not ready to hand out IP addresses to the computer. And there we go, finally it did. Funnily enough, the ER110 seems to be slightly quicker than the 115 at uh, getting ready once this light has come on to uh, hand out an IP address. So the router is currently uh, intercepting all the requests and showing an interstitial or a captive portal page saying that there's no internet plugged in. So I'm going to close that page and go back to the desktop and you can see the ping up here on the top left of the screen is now responding on the default IP address of the Sky Q Hub or the Sky Router. So there we go, that's how to factory reset this router. If this video has been helpful to you, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notifications switched on, but the subscriber numbers are really helpful. Thank you.